Yo, what's poppin' everybody? What's up? What's going on? What's crackin'? It's your boy, Young Kool-Aid, man. We're here uh, for today, a review of Dragon Ball Z Shin Burakai Unruled. You guys already know, man, uh, this LP, I just finished it. You know, it was uh, pretty pretty fun. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I had a pretty good time with that, you know what I'm saying? I, I enjoyed it. So, uh, today, I decided I was gonna do a review over the game. Not really the LP, just the, over the game itself. That's what I wanted to do. So, uh, we've got story, gameplay, roster, and visuals as the four categories that we are going to break down if you are ready for this review hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe comment down below what you think of the game if you've ever played it or if you haven't played it would you play it other than that uh follow me on twitter if you like to that link is in the description but um yeah with that said i am out let's go ahead and let's get into it Alrighty, so for the first category we have story, and for story, story is different than um, what most Dragon Ball Z games have. Most Dragon Ball Z games have the main story where you go through the Saiyan Saga, then the Frieza Saga, then so on and so forth. Well, in this one is based around future trunks, because there's Shin Budokai 2, then there's Shin Budokai Another Road. I'm pretty sure Shin Budokai 2 follows the regular storyline, and Shin Budokai Another Road follows Trunks' storyline, which is the game that we played. It follows Trunks' storyline in the future, him fighting characters like Majin Buu, Cooler, Broly, people he didn't fight in his own timeline, which some of them, it really doesn't make sense, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> it's alright though. Like, those characters and things like that that he fights in this timeline that he doesn't fight in the other timeline so that's pretty cool you know it's something other than the normal Dragon Ball Z games that where you know what you're gonna play in the story you don't know because you don't know how it's gonna happen for the most part I mean it still plays out somewhat similarly but it's still different in a way it's still different because the characters are different like future Gohan is there future Trunks is there and they have Goku like dead Goku and they have a live Goku like they have different Vegeta's like it's a, it's a pretty crazy game alright because <laughs> then they bring the people from the past to the future then they already have the future people people who are dead dead and you bring them back to life it's a pretty cool and interesting story especially you know since it's not the normal dbz story which you get in every dbz game so that's a plus all right so as far as the gameplay goes it's well basically not copy and paste but it's very very similar to the budokai series because i mean you know obviously shin budokai budokai you know same same you know what i'm saying it's the same sort of storyline same sort of game line that they got going on um it reminds me a lot of budokai 3 except it's a bit different it's not like the free world fighting of raging blast one or two it's more of like the the budokai fighting you know which is more a traditional fighting game except there's a bit more movement that you have in this game because it's a bit more 3d whereas budokai is from like a 2d sort of angle in terms of the camera this one's a bit different but it's okay it's you know it's not very it's like it's not a problem at all you know what i'm saying like when you're playing the game you probably won't even notice it that much but it's a very fun game to play you know um it's got the budokai system so if you're fond of the budokai system i can see where you'd be fond of this the only thing i do have a problem with is like you know charging like away from a character or towards a character can be kind of bad because you can't really go that far you can only fly so far a distance without um being like you know what's the word oh my god without stopping you know without stopping you can only go so far like flying at least that's kind of a problem and another thing that i only have a problem with this is the only other thing i have a problem with is the aura thing the aura thing always throws me off i don't really have a problem with it. like i don't hate it it's just something that throws me off in terms of fighting because i'm not used to playing with that but other than that it's pretty good except for when you run out of energy and then you're sitting there for like five seconds waiting for someone to you know to basically just hit you in the face so you can get your energy back or at least a little bit of energy but yeah and uh the, the only other pet peeve i have i guess in terms of gameplay is the fact that you can't transform like Goku into Goku then Super Saiyan Goku then Super Saiyan 2 Goku like if you choose Super Saiyan 3 Goku you go from regular Goku straight to Super Saiyan 3 Goku and that kind of sucks but it is what it is I mean I guess that is how like you know regular Budokai is sort of balanced and that's just how it is which is no big deal it's just something I was just hoping for something a little bit different like in Raging Blaster and Budokai Tenkaichi but it is what it is as far as the gameplay goes it's pretty good pretty solid not the best but it's definitely playable Alright, for the number three topic that we have, we got the roster. Now, the roster is basically, this is going to be like the shortest segment out of all of them. It's the the normal DBZ roster. I mean, that's just what it is. It has all the Dragon Ball Z characters. 
It doesn't have anybody from Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball. I don't think it has anybody from there. And it only has one character from Dragon Ball GT being Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure the original Shin Budokai had, like, at least Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta, if I remember correctly. Like, I think they had a few more. Maybe that's just mods. I don't know. Maybe that's just mods. But I'm pretty sure they had more than, like, one GT character. Because that's the only GT character in the game, is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Other than that... The rest of the characters are normal DBZ characters. You got the Goku's Vegeta, Team Gohan, Mystic Gohan, Future Gohan. You know the Dragon Ball Z characters. All of them, they're in there. So if you're a fan of just a regular DBZ roster, then I mean, this is a game for you. But if you're like me and you like characters from all the DBZ universe, then eh, you may be a bit unsatisfied with this. But, you, you know, it's Dragon Ball Z, so you really can't hate Alright, so the, for the fourth and final topic, we've got to visuals. Visually, for a PSP game, this does very, very well. It runs very, very smoothly, and it looks really good. You think of a PSP game, you think of, like, a system that's sort of lacking in terms of, like, visual appearance, that it can only go so far, but this game looks really good, you know? I, it's not, like perfect you know what i'm saying like even when the uh the mouth animations for when they're talking on the victory screens like they're non-existent and whatnot but like for a psp game it looks pretty interesting i will not lie it looks pretty interesting it's pretty good it's pretty visually appealing and whatnot um if you are someone who wants like a1 graphics all the time i would not recommend this for you but it's a pretty good looking game and i mean considering again that it's for the psp i really can't hate you know it gets the job done and it makes the game enjoyable and you know fun to play so i mean that's all that really matters and so it it's a pass for me on visual it's it's a pass it's a pass Alrighty, so after calculating up the, all the four categories, I would rate this game as good. You know, it's a good PSP game, you know, it's a good Dragon Ball Z game. It's not really one that's catered towards my liking. I like more Raging Blast games, more Budokai Tenkaichi games, sort of in those fields. Budokai kind of games are fun, but like, you know, they're kind of like traditional fighting games, and I get kind of bored with them after a while. Like, that's what it's kind of like for this game for a little bit. But the story was pretty interesting that I kept playing because it was very different from what the normal games are. So I do, I do give it a nod on that. The story makes the game really, for the most part, you know. There's other things you can do outside of story arcade mode, but it's just like normal, like Dragon Ball Z games, things like that. And you have booster cards and all that, so there are things going for it, there are things holding it back. But it's a PSP game, so I can't really get on it too tough, I can't like hate on it too hard or anything like that. Like, it's nothing too problematic, nothing that will make you just not want to play it ever or rate it as one of the worst DBZ games of all time. I'd say it's probably a middle of the pack DBZ game, not towards the top, but definitely not towards the bottom. Probably one of, definitely probably the best handheld one, maybe the best handheld one, I don't know. I haven't played all of the handheld Dragon Ball Z games, so I can't really say. But as far as the PSP goes, it's a very good game and enjoyable so if you have ever thought about playing it definitely go ahead and get it for yourself whether it be through emulator or actually buying the game you do that because it's a very enjoyable game to play story mode's not too uh, it's not too long story mode's not too long so if you're only going to play for the story mode i mean it's perfect for you so anyways that's all i got from my review overall good game if you'd like to play it i it's a game that i would suggest to other people is what i'd say it's a game i'd suggest but that's all i got for this um you know little review uh, i wanted to just review the game because you know i didn't like out of there i just did the lp you know i haven't recorded anything in a while because i haven't had time so i was like i'll just do a review of the game and just what i liked if you enjoyed this review again hit that like button don't forget to subscribe maybe i'll do more in the future of games that i've played or games that i will play in the future and things like that but uh yeah other than that that's all i really got for today don't forget to you know hit that like button subscribe comment down in the comment section below follow me on twitter if you like that link is in the description but uh without that said i am out goodbye peace